1954. The New Horizons story begins here, as America was riding boundless enthusiasm into the middle of a baby boom. But it was still a windowless world for people with mental retardation and other developmental disabilities. Many of them were cared for in institutions. Attitudes toward them tended toward isolation. A handful of concerned parents had the idea that those with developmental disabilities did not have to be isolated and that with the proper help, they could have a better future. They developed an organization to provide education and social opportunities for children with mental retardation. The San Fernando Valley Association for Retarded Children opened the doors to its nursery school and New Horizons was born. The need for such a school was so compelling that within three years the association made plans for expansion and purchased a four acre plot of land in the heart of the valley. One out of every 30 children is born mentally retarded. Many with no public school open to them. These children have the right to learn, too. A training center is vitally needed. Send your contribution today to the San Fernando Valley Association for Retarded Children. Soon, eight new classrooms, a small multi-purpose building, and a playground welcomed a rapidly growing group of young students eager to explore a whole new world of opportunity. The future for the mentally retarded depends upon the support of the community. We hope to bring encouragement by showing how people have found new hope and with this renewed effort have advanced the plight of these children from their dark past to brighter new horizons. Recognizing that adults with developmental disabilities also needed support and training, the agency started a program for them in a local valley church. Three years later, a large facility was leased to accommodate several dozen adult clients in an innovative work program which involved job skills training. At last, public perceptions began to change. With the passing of the landmark Landerman Act, government became more responsive. When the state of California mandated education for children with developmental disabilities from age 3 to 22, New Horizons shifted its focus to adults only. With a long waiting list and not nearly enough room, the need for expansion became abundantly clear. A 20,000 square foot workshop soon rose on the valley property with ample room for 200 clients. Seeing a need for residential services, the agency purchased a nearby house for a pilot six resident group home, the first of many it would build in the neighborhood. The latest is a home for those who have medical and nursing challenges. As public awareness and knowledge grew, New Horizons helped its clients take advantage of more opportunities for integrating into the community, providing janitorial and landscape services around campus and to local businesses, filling regular jobs in the community through the supported employment program, entertaining audiences at the center and in the diverse community with a lively dance troupe, the bright lights, becoming productive community members. Growing fast, serving more clients, and making a profound and positive impact on the community, New Horizons was again bursting at the seams. In a brand new 11,000 square foot cafe, named for longtime major donor Sam Greenberg, clients learned the skills to prepare them for employment in food service jobs. Programs were also initiated for workshop participants with special needs. The Supported Living Program was established to give clients the opportunity to live in their own apartment with the support of staff. Because of these developments, our clients have the opportunity to choose from a variety of work and training environments, cafe service, art center, day training activity center, packaging and assembly work for working in local businesses. They also have a choice in their living arrangements. I love this place, because I didn't know there were so many doors open for the handicapped. And I'm like, you know, like growing again, because I'm doing this stuff for myself. At the beginning of the new millennium, the outlook is brighter than ever for New Horizons. Increasing numbers of prominent local businesses contract with New Horizons for assembly and packaging of their products. The new 20,000 square foot workshop and office annex houses a warehouse a residential food pantry, and several departments. The members and board of directors of the association, as well as volunteers and staff at New Horizons, have always actively engaged in fundraising. 
inviting the community to join them in an exciting journey of possibilities for individuals with developmental disabilities. If you feel productive, you are happy, you are supportive, and you have friends, what is the disability? As we mark our first half century of service, we look forward with determination, hope, and dedication. Our vision for the future is this. New Horizons will expand the scope of its programs and services to provide a lifelong circle of support to people with developmental disabilities from birth through old age. New Horizons will fully integrate people with developmental disabilities into the community. And New Horizons will be the foremost leader in providing education about individuals with developmental disabilities. While the agency continues to expand, it's always been more than its growing campus of buildings. For 50 years, it's been the heart of a large and enthusiastic family. And always, it's the spirit and the dreams of its clients, members, its dedicated board of directors, its volunteers and staff. A place of promise, inspiring the community with a bright future ahead.